Hello all, my name is Keo. Here we are going to start with the second part of this tutorial, Modeling, Texturing and Lighting and Interior in Autodesk 3ds Max using V-Ray. So let's get started with the second part. So here we have reached over here. So let's continue this. So let's go to this front view, select the vertices and adjust a bit. Now go into this shapes, take a line tool and take a line over here like this. Press shift to make it more straight and end it over here. Okay, so as you can see, this is a 2D shape. You can just select the shape. So if you don't need uh, it over here, what you can do is you can go into this vertex, select this vertex and delete it. So select the line, go into rendering, enable in viewport and renderer. Let's make it as a rectangle. So we are going to increase its size over here. So increase the width a bit and increase the length. So as you can see, the length of this is not that high. The length is a bit less. So as you can see, it's coming into this particular angle. So what we can do is, we can just right click, convert it into editable poly. We can put one swift loop over here. Take the vertex and shift a bit inside. So as you can see, uh, you can, so this part will be a bit out and this will go in a straight line. Okay. So you can make it straight, you can add one more loop over here go to the top view and you can try to make it as straight as possible so go to the top view make a box so make a single box over here or you can easily extrude this part Select this polygon and give a bit of inset over here. Click OK and give extrude over here. So we are going to use the extrude over here once. Again click once, thrice and one more time. Okay. So now click OK. So we will go into this view and we can easily adjust it. In whatever fine way it is possible. So we can add one more loop over here by using a swift loop. So you can just go on adding the loops. So select the edge over here, this edge. Okay, so there is a ring option over here. So you can select the ring, press control and click on this polygon. So automatically that will get the polygons will get selected off the loop. So now you can go into this bevel option and make it by local normal. Reduce this. 
and say okay so same thing we'll follow it over here so you can ring it press control and the bevel option and click okay that's it take a box we'll go into this front view I'll make the handle so you can scale a bit so right click convert to editable poly or you can uh, put two loops over here after that convert to editable poly can select this polygon and you can just extrude a bit so go to the top view and place this handle over here and you can copy this down just go on pressing shift and copy this okay. so if the handle seems to be a bit bigger then you can just reduce the size of the handles so you can delete this So make two copies more okay so same thing over here so again we are going to go on to the top view we are going to create a rectangle so create a rectangle over here to the top press R and scale it I'm just going to make a duplicate copy of it We will just give a basic color to it. Okay. So next part over here. For the bed. We will go into this chamfer box. Extended primitives will take a chamfer box. And we will create a chamfer box over here. We will go to the top view. We'll take a chamfer box, create a chamfer box. So as you can see, if you push it up, so this will help you out to make it look like a chamfer box. So you can uh, duplicate this particular chamfer box onto the top, and you can reduce its height and you can reduce its width so as you can see it's going to be textured so we are just making it a basic way all right so copy this handles same you can duplicate this handles over here you can keep it over here one handle over here onto the top select this duplicate this over here 
and one over here. So as we are so duplicating all the sandals, we are going to push the sandals out. You get it out from the top view. Okay. So you can just save it, save your file once. So now let's go to the top view and we'll make the shelves over here, the wall shelves. For that we have a tool over here, go into the shape, we have a rectangle tool. Let's take a rectangle tool for the shelf onto the corner, make a shelf like this. Okay, so reduce the length and reduce the width so you can put the shelf over here shelf out so if you need a bit of a smoother corner you can give it a smoother corner still the length can be reduced a bit so as you can see we are going to create the shelves in this way. All right. So I'll create one more shelf over here using a box. So go to the standard primitives and create one more shelf. So as you can see, the shelf height should be match you know try to match it with the shelf which you created previously so okay so let's make it as one now so convert this to editable poly go to the top view so you need to uh, create a bit of depth over here so go into the swift loop swift loop option or you can use a ring and you can connect it okay so select the edge and give a loop option and that is also option called extrude you can uh, extrude a bit inside and you can scale it a bit not much but you can do it a bit so the handles which you created over here can be useful over here too so you can keep it over here like this so the shelves which are required for the bottom can now be easily created so you can increase the height of the wall to a bit so take a spear oh sorry take a rectangle So as you can see we are just going to create a shelf over here like this push it at the center so increase its length a bit or can try to adjust its length over here so you can see all right we can push this a bit more up so right click 
convert to editable poly so what you can do over here is we can add we can just use connect option if you need two loops so select the edges and connect it say okay scale it from the top we can try to scale it from the top select this scale it from the top and push this up so select this up two more loops we require it so click ok select this two from the top select this again right from the top okay so select this polygon and select this polygon and there is option called bridge so you can bridge it easily right. okay so let's go into the camera view just press C and you can check out the camera view so whatever you created so that's what your camera view looks like so you can also duplicate this again so you can get into the perspective view by pressing P we'll go into the reference again and you can make a copy of it okay so okay fine and shift this over here and this and this will get duplicate and you can push it down can push it a bit down and shift this to a bit down so you need to increase the height of the walls a bit so we can switch all these elements onto the top okay so we haven't created this part over here so you can just right click and hide the selection we have option called hide selection you can hide the selection you can use a swift loop option over here and you can make a copy or else if it is a want to make it a different object you can make it as a different object too so just take a rectangle and push it up okay so right click unhide all so you can unhide all and you can resize it alright so let's save it so you can create a carpet over here so for that you can take a chamfer box so select this and reduce the height of it and reduce the fillet so you can shift this a bit back you can use a top view over here to shift this element a bit more back okay
also will take a box for this go on slowly with that okay so here is it so let's come into this camera view so we'll continue this in the next part till then goodbye